The best eight movies to watch if you love K dramas. Korean dramas can be a hit or miss in the drama world. With their cheesy and corny dialogue and fun but sometimes unnecessary tropes, fans love Korean dramas for good reason. Because oftentimes, they are uplifting stories and messages on love, they include plenty of good yet comedic dialogue, and they move viewers like no other film or TV show. But sometimes the K drama world can be a bit overwhelming. After all, the selection is huge, and sometimes, you watch all that is available. Number 8, Crazy Rich Asians 2018. Directed by, John M. Chu. Based on a novel by the same name, written by Kevin Kwan, Crazy Rich Asians follows Professor Rachel Chu, Constance Wu, as she travels to Singapore with her boyfriend Nick Young, Henry Golding, for a wedding. However, Though Rachel and Nick are happy with each other, their class differences pose a problem to Nick's mother. Like a more mature K-drama, Crazy Rich Asians follows the traditional story of a wealthy mother who does not approve of her son or daughter's love interest. This is commonly seen in K-dramas like Boys Over Flowers and Heirs, and it makes viewers frustrated because the lack of approval results in a complicated relationship between the lead couple. However, these couples persevere in love stories, making for an endearing love story. Number 7, She's the Man 2006. Directed by, Andy Fickman. When Viola Hastings, Amanda Bynes, decides to cover for her twin brother at his boarding school, she discovers how hard it really is to pretend to be someone you're not. While falling for the soccer team's Captain Duke, Channing Tatum, Viola must navigate through various challenges while pretending to be both her brother and herself. Interestingly enough, She's the Man is an adaption of Twelfth Night by William Shakespeare, which is a romantic comedy. While challenging gender-assigned roles and stereotypes at the time, She's the Man is a beautifully written romantic comedy that will make viewers laugh and empathize with Viola. Not to mention, there is some suspense and tension as Viola attempts to keep her real identity a secret. K-drama fans who enjoy the switch-up and disguise trope, You're Beautiful, Coffee Prince, Secret Garden, will undoubtedly have a blast watching She's the Man. Number 6, 51st Dates 2004, directed by, Peter Saga. Womanizer Henry Roth, Adam Sandler, is afraid of long-term commitments. To avoid them, he dates tourists instead of locals. But then one day he meets Lucy Whitmore, Drew Barrymore, who he learns has anterograde amnesia after a traumatic accident. Henry spends his days with her, and he finds himself falling for her, despite her not remembering him each time. Amnesia is a popular trope in Korean dramas, and for good reason. It affects the romance between leads or other characters, adding to the emotional tension of the show. While it can be an annoying trope that TV needs to abandon, when done in good taste, it can lead to an emotionally beautiful watch. Some Korean dramas that deal with amnesia include Boys Over Flowers, Fated to Love You, and Shopping King Louie. A wonderful romantic comedy, fans of the amnesia trope will undoubtedly love 51st Dates. Number 5, Pride and Prejudice 2005. Directed by, Joe Wright. Elizabeth Bennett, Kira Knightley, is one of three sisters who are to be married off eventually, though no bachelor catches her eye, at least, except for the snobbish Mr. Darcy, Matthew McFadden. The two find themselves at odds with each other, at least, until they find themselves falling for each other. Pride and Prejudice is a classic romance film featuring an enemies-to-lovers storyline between Elizabeth and Mr. Darcy. With such a complicated dynamic, viewers who love the enemies-to-lovers story in K-dramas, Scarlet Heart Rio, Moon Lovers, Emergency Couple, and Full House, will love Pride and Prejudice. It's so popular that there is a Korean remake starring Kim Go-Un. Number 4, About Time 2013, directed by, Richard Curtis. 21-year-old Tim Lake, Donald Gleason, learns that the men of the family can travel to the past. Tim decides to use this newfound power to change and improve his love life, though he finds himself disappointed the first time he makes the attempt, realizing love cannot be altered. However, he attempts again when he meets Mary, Rachel McAdams, and hits it off with her, though when he goes back in time to help someone in need, he changes his future with Mary. Both comedic and emotionally endearing, 
About Time is a sweet, meaningful film about taking life one day at a time and appreciating all its little blessings. It makes use of a time travel concept and uses it to blur the emotional lines between past and present, creating for a somewhat sad yet wholesome story about the different types of love. Those who enjoy wholesome time travel K-dramas like Familiar Wife and Tomorrow with You will love about time. Number 3. The Time Traveler's Wife 2009. Directed by Robert Schwentke. Henry de Tamble, Eric Bana, is a librarian with an odd genetic disorder. He can time travel, though it is absolutely sporadic. Then he meets the love of his life, Claire, Rachel McAdams, and they get married, but his spontaneous time traveling leads to difficulties for the two lovers. The Time Traveler's Wife, despite having its own problematic aspects, is a tragic film from start to finish. Being unable to control his time traveling, Henry is at the mercy of time and fate itself, and so is his wife. A beautifully heartbreaking film, The Time Traveler's Wife is a story of love, even when fate attempts to tear them apart. Fans of Scarlet Heart Rio, Moon Lovers and Goblin will appreciate the theme and overall story of The Time Traveler's Wife. Number 2. Notting Hill 1999. Directed by Roger Michel. Divorced William Thacker, Hugh Grant, owns a bookstore in Notting Hill. One day, Hollywood star Anna Scott, Julia Roberts, visits his shop and purchases a book. This chance encounter leads to a spontaneous kiss between William and Anna leads to a full-blown affair. Notting Hill is a classic romantic comedy that is just plain fun. It's a feel-good movie exploring the complex relationship between two individuals from completely different worlds, leading to a beautifully developed romance that viewers will swoon over. Dealing with classic romantic comedy tropes, K-dramas similar to this film include Crash Landing on You, Boys Over Flowers, and She's in the Trap. Number 1. Just Go With It 2011. Directed by Dennis Duggan. Before his wedding, Danny Maccabee, Adam Sandler, learns that his soon-to-be wife has been cheating on him, only marrying him for his success. Heartbroken. Danny decides to pretend to be married to avoid commitment, and years down the road, he asks his assistant Catherine, Jennifer Aniston, to continue to see a woman that he likes. Little do Danny and Catherine know, they each other. Another lighthearted just go with it. Fun and exhilarating film that is filled with cliches, tropes, and plenty of funny moments that will have the viewer laughing. This is a charming film that viewers will want to come back to, time and time again, and even though it's not an exceptionally deep film, it's a fun one that is worth the rewatch. Similar K-dramas include Marry My Husband, which is similar in terms of story and overall vibe, 